In this lesson we're going to go ahead and uh, model the logo for our car. I'm just going to call it a Fiat logo, so or a Fiat car, so we need to just uh, go ahead and model the Fiat logo. And that's just an image that I've you know taken off of Google and simply just imported it into Maya the way it was um, in the top so that I can, I'm looking straight down at the logo and I'm just going to simply you know model it with a uh, a polyplane here and just adjust the verts and this is basically just going to be you know extrusion, extrusion, extrusion and you know we'll go from there delete one half of it so that I can just mirror it, o mirror it over to the other side and like I said all these little details count especially when doing a car and that's looking okay so we'll just go ahead and adjust this a little bit more here extrude that down so that we can have a little bit of thickness scale that out go ahead and you know, use the always popular inset tool again and it's just basically extrude or inset and you know just keep shaping and shaping it until you get something that uh, you're happy with and you, you can see you know how quickly you can actually go ahead and basically make the logo that you want it doesn't take you know, really too much effort just duplicating faces there again add a couple edges to make sure it's going to retain its shape just have to edit the geometry here so I can get out, uh, all the edges in where I need them to go ahead and extrude out and I'm having a little bit of a selection problem there so I just added it to its own layer so I can only select the, what would be the chrome part of that logo Just extruding the edge in, up, in again, and then down. That just that little bit of extra detail. Let's go ahead and put some edges in here. The text part will be the pretty much final part here for the model. But I need to go ahead and edit the base here. Use our lasso selection tool. Duplicate the faces there. 
pull it up a little bit scale it out and I'll extrude that edge down so that I can have a little bit of thickness there as well verts up here so that we can have somewhat of like a, a beveled shape by using the soft mod tool and that's looking you know pretty good right there Now we'll go ahead and create our fiat text. And it's important that whenever you go to actually bevel your your text that you use the bevel plus and make sure that you reset the tool every time. Um, not for every single letter, but you know, if anytime you're gonna go ahead and create text, you want to at least reset the tool because sometimes it it causes problems. I'll select each individual letter here. Bring out my Bevel Plus tool, reset the settings. And there you can see I beveled out the F, the I, the A, and the T. Delete the curves. Group the letters. Just rotate it and try and place it onto the mesh there. I have to scale it up a little bit to try and match the other logo. Probably scale it in here a little bit. I mean, it's looking okay right there. Scale those down a little bit so that they're not so thick. Translate it down so that it fits a little better. And I'm going to go ahead and deform it a little bit with our curve tool. I always put a curve on before I uh, go ahead and rotate the curve so I know exactly how the, the mesh is deforming. And we'll just have to rotate it here in. 90 degrees in the x-axis or in the y-axis or in the z I'm sorry and there you go you can see where the the curve tool has allowed us to basically place the fiat lettering onto the logo base and basically there is our logo for our car <laughs>